So what's good, TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back, and y'all know this is my thing right here, bro. <laughs> y'all know this is my thing right here because I feel like I feel like it should be cameras everywhere. They should put more cameras in the sea, if possible. You know what I mean? And this is this video is deep sea cameras capture what no one was supposed to see. I feel like we should put more cameras so we can start discovering more things in that ocean, bro, in that deep blue sea, all right? So we're gonna get to this video, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that descri hit, describe, hit the subscribe button. I'm too hype, I'm way too hype. I gotta calm it down, calm it down. All right, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. Here we go. Here's what no one was supposed to see down in the depths of the ocean. It's fair to say there's some seriously weird stuff lurking around. And while we already know about a lot of strange sea creatures, scientists believe there are tons more crazy things just waiting to be discovered. What the? Or maybe they're just waiting to form a huge Oh yeah, that definitely ain't friendly. Huge squid army and enslave us all in their underwater super cities. Who knows? From the fish that is a shapeshifter to Alaska's own Nessie, here's 20 mysterious underwater creatures caught on camera. <sighs> Number 20, shapeshifting whalefish. Scientists don't come across shape-shifting whalefish off the coast of California every day. According to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute, they've only been seen 18 times in the last 34 years of deep-sea investigation. Recently, the institution's senior scientist- These fools got a, pe a pencil. <laughs> Yo, what are you? Come on, what is they doing? Stand marine biologist Stephen Haddock and his crew piloting a remote submarine discovered a brilliant orange female whalefish 2,013 meters deep outside of Monterey Bay, according to the Research Institute. The institution tweeted, Whalefish have rarely been seen alive in the deep. So many mysteries remain regarding these remarkable fish. We uncover more mysteries and solve of others with each deep sea dive. According to the institution, the animals were discovered in the Midnight Zone, the greatest living region between the ocean's daylight levels and the deep bottom, which is home to Earth's largest ecosystems. According to the Smithsonian Ocean Team, whale fish, which were initially identified by two Smithsonian Institution scientists in 1895, adopt three significantly diverse shapes during their lives and were once considered to belong to other fish families. The Setomimidae family includes three types of fish, tape tails, big nose, and whalefish, according to the Smithsonian. According to the Smithsonian, when tape tails mature, they take on two distinct forms, big nose or whalefish. Big noses have scales covering every part of their bodies, and their lips shrink to the point where their jaw bones waste away and their noses balloon upward, according to live science. Their intestines, esophagus, and stomach shrivel and vanish since they don't eat. Their chest cavity is then filled by their sexual organs and a gigantic liver as an energy store. The animals gorge themselves on microscopic crustaceans in order to maintain their energy levels. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. The Loch Ness Monster, sometimes known as Nessie, is a legendary creature from Scottish folklore thought to live in Loch Ness in the Scottish Highlands. Large, long-necked, and with one or more humps protruding from the water, it's a common description. Since it was first brought to the public's notice in 1933, there has been a broad range of public curiosity and belief in this creature. Its existence is based on anecdotal evidence in including a handful of contested pictures and sonar data, now thanks to an American visitor, we have a close-up shot of the beast. 
However, his camera was only recovered floating on the surface and the man was never seen again. This deep sea camera captures what no one was supposed to see. The man just drowned according to Scottish authorities, who then shut down the press conference before deporting all of the reporters from the country. Some claim that anybody who has revealed the truth about the sighting has been kidnapped by Scottish secret agents and forced to work in haggis mines. Is this proof that the monster exists? Is Scotland attempting to hide the truth? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Loch Ness Monster in Alaska a brief video of a weird thing found in Fairbanks, Alaska's Chena River, sparked a slew of wacky speculations online. Some are referring to it as a ice monster, evoking the Loch Ness Monster folklore, while others speculate that it might be anything from a giant Arctic crocodile to a zombie salmon, an employee of the Alaska Bureau of Land Management in Fairbanks. But ain't nobody getting close to find out. <laughs> uh uh, I don't blame him though, for real. Thanks was checking the ice on the river when he observed something going up the river and grabbed a camera to capture the bizarre sight. It appeared to be ice chunks, yet it moved in a side to side manner. Some wondered if the black shadow cast beneath the cold surface was a monster. Our employees didn't look into it. On its Facebook page, the Bureau of Land Management, Alaska noted. It's kind of far out in the middle of the river. This video was kept. I can't make heads or tails what that is, bro. And I'm trying my hardest. Cheered just downstream by our BLM Fairbanks District Office. We have no idea what it is. We're going to leave it up to you to decide. Since it was released last week, the video has been seen over 380,000 times and shared approximately by 4,000 people. Some speculated that it was a bull shark, an Alaskan sturgeon, or a beavigator. Others think it wasn't an animal at all. Mm. Number 18. Giant Spider Crab Congregation Thousands of giant spider crabs gather every year in the waters of Port Phillip Bay off the coast of Melbourne, Australia, as they shed their old skin to allow for development and the formation of a new shell, according to Museums Victoria. Molting can take up to an hour, and all the crabs in an aggregation molt almost simultaneously, according to Museums Victoria. The crabs are less likely to be eaten by predators if they are grouped together, according to the organization. From claw to claw, the Japanese spider crab has the longest leg span of any arthropod, measuring 12.1 feet. Apart from its enormous size, the Japanese spider crab is unique in a number of aspects. The pleopods of the males coil in an odd way, and the larvae appear to be primitive. It is said to have a compassionate demeanor despite its fearsome look. It also has a 103 minute molting activity that involves the crab losing movement movement and molting its shell before molting its walking legs. Giant spider crabs employ camouflage and their protective exoskeleton to shield themselves from larger predators like octopuses. The rough shell of the crab mixes in well with the rocky ocean floor. A spider crab will cover its shell with sponges and other creatures to contribute to the illusion. Number 17. Pelotrophes Massey Jellyfish Pelotrophes massi, often known as the firework jellyfish on the internet, is a deep water hydrozoan of the Helicridae family. The jelly was discovered at a depth of 4,000 to 5,000 feet at the Revillage Gato Archipelago. Just then, that looked like fireworks in the sky, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Something so like um, crazy looking, so dangerous. 
depth of 4,000 to 5,000 feet at the Revillagigedo Archipelago, off the coast of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. Despite the lack of information on this species, study shows that Helitrophes massi may be found in a variety of aquatic environments. The hydrozoan has been discovered in temperate and tropical seas in the Atlantic, Indo-Pacific, Antarctic, Mediterranean, and Eastern Pacific Oceans. This hydromedusae is bathypelagic in nature. The bathyal zone, also known as bathypelagic, is a section of the open ocean that stretches from 3,300 to 13,100 feet below the ocean surface. It is located... Seeing stuff like this start making me question, like, are we aliens, bro? <laughs> like, seeing this and thinking about what's amongst us, like, among us, are we aliens, bro? Maybe we've been looking at things wrong our entire life. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe, just maybe we looking at, we got to take a step back, recalibrate, and think about this thing in a whole reverse situation. Maybe we are the aliens. Between the mesopelagic and the abyssopelagic, the average temperature is around 39 degrees Fahrenheit. The bathyal zone is less heavily inhabited than the photic zone, although being bigger in volume. Because this zone receives little sunlight, primary production, if any, is essentially non-existent. Because of the absence of sunlight required for photosynthesis, there are no known photoplankton or aquatic plants in this zone. Because of this, it is is known as the midnight, sometimes referred to as twilight or dark zone. Number 16. Weird Sea Creature Found in Baltic Sea an unusual discovery by German dockers has caused quite a stir on a video-sharing website, billowing like a fleshy and repulsive pillowcase with tentacles. The video, which was previously uploaded... That look like intestines, bruh. ...did to live leak, appears to depict what has now been characterized as a strange sea creature, and has caused considerable anxiety among watchers. Some skeptics, on the other hand, have dismissed the beast as a floating pair of intestines, a writer for Deep Sea News has also Glad to know we thinking alike. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's exactly, that's the first thought you think about looking at that. It's like, ugh, that's my guts. Claimed that the creature is made up of entrails, describing a double layer of membrane that contains blood vessels, lymph vessels, and nerves, and connects the two parts of the small intestine. But how can the pulsating motions be explained? Do you believe abattoir employees have started dumping meaty offcuts and ports despite the awful brigade's protests? Is it more likely that the large bucket of goop contains some kind of water-based Alien? Number 15. Meg Napina Squid. Mike Vecchione, curator of cephalopods at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History, is no stranger to questions concerning mysterious deep-sea species. In 2001, though, he received a call that piqued his interest. A woman in Louisiana revealed a strange, enormous squid that her boyfriend had recorded in the Gulf of Mexico while remotely controlling an oil company truck. That's gotta be a giant squid, he reasoned. A mysterious animal that researchers had been attempting to photograph alive for decades. The film, however, did not show a big squid. Vecchione has never seen or heard anything like that before. A squid with long, spindly arms bent abruptly before hanging down into the darkness like ghostly gossamer, hung by undulating fins far bigger than its body. I jumped out of my chair and started yelling profanities because I knew it was something completely different, recalls Vecchione. The mystery squid has been recognized and given a scientific name, Magna Pina, better known as the Big Fin Squid, in the two decades afterward. But its elbowed, slender arms and unearthly visage have also attracted other nicknames, like the Long Arm Squid and Daddy Long Legs of the Ocean, and recently Ghost of the Sea, as described by squid biologist Sarah McAnulty. Number 14 an underwater alien colony. 
This occurs as a result of the algae's photosynthesis, which releases oxygen. It is caught in the weed's airtight net, a wide and diverse collection of photosynthetic eukaryotic organisms, is referred to as algae. It's a photophyletic grouping made up of species from many different clades. The species included in the study vary from unicellular microalgae like chlorella, protothecia, and diatoms to multi cellular forms like the giant kelp, a huge brown alga that may grow up to 160 feet in length. Most are aquatic and autotrophic. They produce their own food and lack several of the cell and tissue types seen in land plants such as stomata, xylem, and phloem. Seaweeds are the biggest and most complex marine algae, whereas chorophyta, a category of green algae that includes spirogyra and stoneworts, are the most complicated freshwater algae. There is no universally recognized definition of algae. Algae have chlorophyll as their primary photosynthetic pigment and lack a sterile covering of cells around their reproductive cells, according to one definition. Algae have a growing number of industrial and traditional applications in human society due to their diverse range of types. Traditional seaweed farming techniques have been practiced for thousands of years in East Asian food cultures. Number 13. River Monster Filmed in China Just Below the Murky Surface of the Yangtze River a strange, serpentine creature was spotted slithering down Asia's longest river, and viewers are split on what it could be. The strange film shows the sea monster creeping just beneath the murky surface of the Yangtze River in Yichang, Hubei Province, central China. It looks to be at least 10 feet long, with a hump-like characteristic on the rear of its skinny body. The mysterious animal was spotted within the Three Gorges Dam I'm thinking snake, but <laughs> I keep trying to give maybe something else, but all I can come away with is snake. I don't think Loch Ness. I don't think anything else. I'm thinking snake. Area, which is a popular tourist destination for river cruises, according to reports. With a length of 6,300 kilometers, the Yangtze is Asia's longest river, flowing eastward virtually the whole length of China before emptying into the East China Sea. Since the video of the Loch Ness Monster became viral, it has been seen by almost 2 million people. One wondered, why is every image of a mysterious monster always so blurry? Perhaps it's a large piece of... We said that before, too. Like, come on, y'all, bro. It's way better cameras, like, better camera phones for y'all to stop catching it with these bogus, terrible behind cameras, man. It's, the technology is far greater. Like, like, these cell phone cameras are better than most, like, digital cameras. Come on. Floating trash, suggested another. That has to be a water snake, said a third. And it's possible that the last answer is the most plausible. Burmese right. pythons are often found in China and may reach the size shown in the video. Despite its preference for land, the snake is an excellent swimmer. Yichang forestry officials, on the other hand, have yet to comment on the creature's possible identity. Number 12. The Taunius. This incredible video depicts a deep sea squid belonging to the species Taunius. These bizarre translucent creatures are commonly discovered 300 meters beneath the surface. Where are all these like translucent, transparent creatures coming from now? It's, it's, it, you start to see more and more of them. Floating in the cockatoo position with their arms up as we see here. The enormous front-facing eyes of Taunius squids, which can spin in different directions to find food, make them highly identifiable. Taunius is a tiny glass squid genus. Although just three species have been identified, it has been hypothesized that there might be as many as five. The glass squid Taunius borealis belongs to the genus 
genus Taunius. It may be found in the Pacific Ocean's North Pacific. The hue of Taunius borealis ranges from clear to dark purple. They have tentacles or arms with two suckers per row on each arm. The tentacular arm armature has four hooked suckers per row, one or two large hooks on the medial suckers, and several small cusps. The maximum mantle length is 45 centimeters. Their natural habitat ranges from mesopelagic to bathypelagic depths. Shrimps, tiny fish, such as myctophids and other squids are their main source of food. Whales, sharks, and squids are among the predators. Number 11. Bizarre Deep Sea Fish, Gulper Eel when scientists go out to explore the depths of the ocean, they expect to come upon strange organisms. Even experts on occasion are caught off guard by their findings. That's precisely what the Nautilus, an underwater exploration vessel, saw while exploring the Papahana Mokukia Marine National Monument. In the frame of their camera, they noticed a strange creature. In the film, the scientists marvel at the creature and speculate about it for two Two minutes before determining that this strange black blob was actually a rare gulper eel. Near 1.5 million people have watched the incredible footage. What is that? Inquires one scientist. Another remark was, looks like a Muppet. The team's camera approaches the anima gently. That's when things start to get strange. The animal's body is round and bloated, with a long slender tail extending from the back. One researcher wonders, is it in gore? or is it like that? Because of its peculiar look. I think he ate too much, one person says. The camera then zooms in closer to reveal the animal. Right there, back then, it looked like a huge tadpole. <laughs> face, which has a pair of creepy, googly eyes on it. Things grow much odder now, umbrella. when the animal inflates its body like a balloon. One of the witnesses speculates that the species may have done so to fend off predators, similar to how a cat may puff up its tail. They suggest that the animals observing it would feel endangered and swim away. Number 10. The Mysterious Ghost Shark for the first time in the Northern Hemisphere, footage of an elusive ghost shark whose face seems as if it were sewn together in a Frankenstein-like fashion has been recorded on- Yeah, y'all wanna tell me Megalodon don't exist, but we got ghost sharks out here? Exactly. He's out there. Video. It's a bizarre looking fish with a pointed snout, said Lonnie Ludston, a senior researcher technician at MBARI in California. It has a long pointed tapering tail, relatively large eyes, and it's almost entirely grayish blue. They feature a large head and a single gill hole, and their bodies are elongated and squishy. They may grow up to 150 centimeters in length, which includes the long tail that certain species have. Have. The snout of several animals has been transformed into an extended sensory organ. The unusual deep sea species, also known as the pointy nosed blue ratfish and dubbed a ghost shark because of its look, had its video premiere when researchers filmed it using remotely operated underwater vehicles off the shores of Hawaii and California. The recordings, which total six, are the first. The eyes blinking red like it's mechanical or something? Starting to make me think things like some of this stuff might be, you know, genetically made by us put into the water. Let, let, let me stop. Proof that this species of ratfish existed in the northern hemisphere, according to Ludston. Number nine. Seriously, though, that looked like it could be grown in a lab. That's all I'm saying. So I'm, that's all I'm saying. Nine. Barrel eye fish. The spookfish is another name for the barrel eye fish, which could give you an idea of what kind of fish we're dealing with. This does not imply that this fish is a CIA operative. It's a different type of spook, as in a creepy looking fish with strange eyes. The eyes are barrel shaped, as the other name implies, and they face directly upwards, which is even stranger. This fish doesn't need to watch where it's going, it only has to gaze up to see what's going on above it. This permits them to hide on the bottom and keep an eye out for any prey that comes too close, then attack it before it can flee. 
They can then simply swivel their eyes forward and continue if necessary. This fish's family name is Apistoproctidae, which is Greek for behind anus, which is a whole other aspect of this strange fish that we won't go into here. These fish are also renowned for being thieves that would take food from other fish. So if you see a lot of them, you know you're in a terrible part of the ocean and should get home before nightfall. It's probably too late though. Probably too late. Number eight. Christmas tree worms. Whoa. This year, Spirobranchus gigantus, often known as the Christmas tree worm, will not be devouring your fir tree. These worms' popular name is derived from their appearance rather than their habitat or nutrition. Two vividly colored crowns sprout from each worm's tube-like body. Radials, or hair-like appendages that radiate from the worm's central spine, make up these Christmas tree-like crowns. These appendages are needed for breathing and catching meals, which is mainly tiny plants floating in the sea called photoplankton. These worms are sedentary, which means they don't move much once they've found a site they like. While the worms' beautiful crowns are visible, the majority of their bodies are encased in tunnels that they bore through living coral. Christmas tree worms quickly withdraw into their tunnels when frightened, sheltering from would-be predators. Christmas tree worms are available in a rainbow of hues. They're not very large, measuring approximately 3.8 centimeters in length on average. These worms, on the other hand, are immediately identifiable due to their particular shape, attractiveness, and color. They're among the most well-known polychaetes or marine burrowing segmented worms on the planet. Number 7. Alien-looking creature transforming near ocean floor at over 3,700 feet. Scientists are experimenting with the mysteries of the sea. Researchers are constantly looking for new discoveries in the ocean. Every new piece of knowledge about the secrets of the bottom adds to the potency of the expeditions. The scientific community is currently debating the significance of such a discovery. A unusual species discovered in the Indian Ocean is the current topic of conversation. According to experts, it seems to be an extraterrestrial organism at first view. On social media, images of the occasional shifting creature are extensively shared. The footage from 2013 has resurfaced as a topic of conversation on social media. A cutting-edge remote control system was used to capture the footage. The strange-looking creature was discovered in- But why it look like it's having so much fun, though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? the Indian Ocean at a depth of 3,753 feet. This critter appears to be a lemon squeezer at first glance. The creature is seen floating in the water for a while, then transforming into a ball and swimming like an owl to another location in the video. Number 6. Vampire Squid you were incorrect if you believed one vampire beast under the water was enough. Nature didn't stop at a vampire fish to haunt our dreams. It also put a vampire squid down there to make things even more crazy. To be more specific, it is classified as Vampyrotuthis infernalis, in scientific terms, which translates to vampire squid from hell, just to be sure we're all on the same page. It's actually half squid, half octopus, but it's quite quite unique. Let us be grateful for it living down there and not up here. It has crimson eyes and dark webbing that resembles a vampire shroud. However, it isn't actually a vampire, preferring to eat trash from dead animals rather than suck in blood, or so the vampire spokesperson we talked with stated, anxiously wiping something crimson off its lips with a paper towel. It told us that it was only ketchup. Another interesting characteristic of this creature Creature, is that its body is covered in photophores, which are light-producing organs that make it glow like a Christmas tree. It can also defend itself by ejecting- I was just about to say, when they showed you the bottom of it, it let you know right quick, things can get- <laughs> things can change real quick. In a blink of an eye, I can get dangerous. A cloud of bioluminescent mucus, which is really interesting and also disgusting. Number 5. Black Sea Devil 
The Black Sea Devil Anglerfish appears tailor-made for the spotlight with its gaping mouth, needle-sharp teeth, and somewhat surprised appearance. Indeed, one specific female got her close-up on off the coast of Central California. Now, if anything should be called a vampire, is this fish. When researchers captured footage of this unique anglerfish, the first time this species has been seen alive and in its natural habitat. This 3.5-inch long black sea devil was discovered around 580 meters deep in the Monterey Bay Canyon by a team utilizing a remotely operated vehicle. The experts were subsequently able to successfully bring her to the surface alive and have been closely watching her ever since. Deep sea scientist Bruce Robinson of the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute has previously pulled up sea devils from the depths, but never with a ROV. He claims it came up in absolutely perfect condition. One of the first things that we got back from ichthyologists was an astonishment at how the fish uses its dorsal fins to swim, he says. Nobody had ever seen that. Given its size, the anglerfish also looked to be breathing more than usual, according to Robinson. This angler fish is now housed in a unique dark room that resembles a walk-in freezer rather than a clean laboratory. However, the gloomy frigid environment that the black sea devil is used to is replicated by the insulated walls and absence of lighting. Number 4. Blood Belly Comb Jelly The Blood Bellied Comb We need another jellyfish to worry about, fam. <laughs> Jelly and one called Blood Belly. He preys on deep sea organisms that can bioluminescence or make their own light. The transparent predator must hide its stomach, or else its most recent meal will light up from the inside out. Like a carnival underwater. Alerting potential predators to its whereabouts. The vivid crimson that gives this comb jelly its name actually helps it conceal from its predators since its red is practically undetectable in the deep sea water. Tinafores, not real jellies, are the bloody bellied comb jellies' proper name. They travel across the water by beating their shimmering hair like cilia, just like other comb jellies. The hue of this mesopelagic jelly varies from deep red to purple to black to pale purple. The animal's bioluminescence may be hidden by the rich hue of its belly to keep predators at bay. It has a dazzling iridescence on its combs, which are rows of cilia on its body. The length and width of the specimen studied ranged from 1.5 to 16 centimeters in length and 1.2 to 10 centimeters in width. Comb jellies do not sting and are not genuine cnidarians, according to current research. In reality, Experts have no idea who the forebears of comb jellies are. Number 3. Pacific Viperfish Viper. The Pacific Viperfish is a predatory fish that dwells in the bathyal zone, also known as bathypelagic, which is located between 1,000 and 4,000 meters below sea level and has an average temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. The Pacific Viperfish, on the other hand, has been discovered in the mesopelagic area. Above the bathypelagic, it can be found between 200 and 5,000 meters below the ocean's surface during the day. It swims up to shallower depths of less than 200 meters at night, where there is more food. Pacific viperfish eat mostly fish, although they will also eat crabs, plankton, shrimp, tiny fish, and even larger fish on occasion. Mictophids, often known as lanternfish, are the principal fish they eat. The Pacific viperfish is one of nine species that make up the Coleotis, or viperfish genus. The Pacific Viperfish is the biggest of the species, reaching lengths of up to one foot and being regarded as a deep-sea gigantism example. For its size, the Pacific Viperfish is considered one of the most aggressive deep-water fish. In life, they have iridescent dark silver-blue fins and are iridescent dark silver-blue in hue. They can also have blue fins and have a pale black hue. The Pacific Viperfish have ultra-black skin to limit 
the reflection of other bioluminescence around them, allowing them to blend in better in the deep water. The viperfish's super black skin minimizes the amount of light reflected from its body, which scatters the light, utilizing melanosomes in its skin that are tuned for low reflectance. The Pacific viperfish may be easily identified by its jaw and tooth curve. Number 2. Fangtooth more proof that the deep sea ocean is not a place you want to be. You have creatures like the fangtooth swimming about. In addition to the severe cold, darkness, pressure, and lack of air, this is another big pair of razor teeth with some fish connected to it, like his companions the anglerfish and viperfish. However, amid the deep darkness of the ocean floor, they're not as large as some of their neighbors. They're only around six inches long, so they're great at hiding in the quasi-eternal abyss of bleakness and terror they've made their home, 16,000 feet under the surface is also most likely where Cthulhu resides, waiting for the day when he must ascend to the surface and kill all in the cause of evil. He may also keep a few fangtooths as pets, as they are essentially Cthulhu's cats. Fangtooths, unlike other deep-sea fish, can survive in aquariums for a few months, so if you could catch one, you could own a Cthulhu cat. But why would you want to do that? That is a different question. Number 1. Clown Frogfish Antenarius maculatus, often known as the warty frogfish or clown frogfish, is a saltwater fish with the scientific name Antenarius maculatus. Clown frogfish is a deep water species that belongs to the Antenaridae family. Warty frogfish, often known as clown frogfish, may reach a height of 15 centimeters. Clown frogfish, like the rest of her family, has a visible extendable body with soft skin covered in tiny dermal spots. Spinules. The clown frogfish's skin is covered in numerous small wart-like protuberances. Its massive face helps it to consume animals of any size. Because of its living habitat, it has a wide range of colors. They could definitely blend in too. Clown frogfish may change color and pigmentation patterns in a couple of weeks, blending in with the surroundings and even turning plain white during coral beaching episodes. The primary hue, on the other hand, shifts from white to black, with relative concentrations of cream, pink, yellow, red and brown, as well as dark round spots and or saddle. Some specimens with a lot of staining can be easily confused with the antenna rose picture next to them. These characteristics can aid in the identification of these. All maculatas have red or orange edges on their wings, and a spike in saddle bleach might occasionally originate at the edge of the eye. How do you feel about the ocean now? What other kinds of monsters do you think are living? Still very scared of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm still... If, if videos don't... If this don't scare you, it makes you at least respect it. I respect the ocean. <sighs> Y'all don't know how much respect I got for it, fam. Just seeing some of the things, and that's... <sighs> bro, and that's just a small glimpse of things we still haven't discovered. You know what I mean? It's, it's scary when you think about it, bro. It is scary. And you saw that frog looking fish and it looked like it was slow, but when it saw something, it was it got quick. You saw that, right? That's what makes it scary, man. Listen, man, this is the deep blue sea, bro. Respect it, that's all I'm gonna say. Y'all get at me in the comment section, let me know what you think and stick around and stay tuned, man. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.